guys so welcome back to the channel I'm Maria here from the sweet karma bar and today we have an exciting video okay we are making a whimsical birdhouse fit for the goddess herself my mama and I'm really excited I want this to look like a fairy kind of tinkered around in the forest in the woodland area and just kind of found objects and put them all together all very like magically sorry I'm in my boys room I've moved things around and it's a, just a whole mess but you know it's been crazy over here we got some chickens and you, if you follow on Instagram then you already know if you don't come join us over there uh, but yeah today we're going to do a whimsical birdhouse with pressed botanicals so I harvested some sunflowers because my mom loves sunflowers. Her favorite color is yellow. And I did some baby's breath because baby's breath is magical. And I also harvested some of my hibiscus from my garden. Um, so I thought that would be really pretty to kind of tie us together. And yeah, I just, I'm really excited. I know that I want her to look very, almost like rickety, but in like a magical way, if that makes sense. But yeah, so if you want to see how we made this, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so when it comes to the shape, I knew I wanted it to be like kind of like an acorny, whimsical, I don't know how to explain it. I did end up putting the straight line through the middle but I hated that. I wanted it to just look completely organic. So I went with these like nice little curvy lines everywhere. And I decided I was gonna do it all clear, all textures, but I really wanted something to give some contrast to the botanical. So I picked this kind of milky, wispy white glass. So everywhere you see that, that is where I'm going to use my botanicals. And then the rest, are going to be like a quilted pattern with different textures. All clear glass and all completely unique and beautiful. I did decide to do this one piece of milky glass that was actually iridescent. This piece is the only piece in the front that will be iridescent. And you guys always ask me if I cut myself, so here you go. I cut myself all the time. They're usually very minor, but it does happen pretty much daily. <laughs> Now the back of the design, I decided to go with an iridescent white. And I know the birds like privacy. But I loved the idea of being able to see inside the birdhouse. So I decided on a solid white for the back. So this will make any birdie that decides to make this their home have that privacy. But my mom will also be able to see if there's anything going on in there. Okay, so because I'm pressing these botanicals, I need to make double the amount of all the milky colored glass. So I did that with some nice thin picture frame glass. That way I can put it right on top of the smooth milky glass and press my flowers between them. The rest, they're all just single foiled. So I decided to just foil those and get those out of the way so I can kind of set her up and see where I want to put all these pretty flowers.
So I made sure to wear my gloves for this part, handling any of this clear glass because it is so easy to get any sort of oil, fingerprints, anything like that. And once I know where I want my flowers in place, I just want to press them right away. So always be careful when you're doing that. Trust me, you'll be so mad at yourself if you have these gorgeous, gorgeous botanical layouts and you get your damn fingerprints in them. So be mindful of that. And now it's time to pick out my flowers. Now I knew I wanted to do the yellow sunflower petals and the hibiscus centers and then I included some baby's breath. And my daughters picked out these beautiful little purple flowers. I don't know what they're called. They are the cutest little daintiest things ever. So I wanted to definitely include them as well since this is a gift from all of us. And it took me quite a while to figure out where, how I wanted my composition to be. So it was quite stressful and relaxing <laughs> because I really wanted her to be perfect and I wanted it to really flow with the design. So I ended up doing this really pretty kind of sunflower burst right around the entrance of the birdhouse. So I am super careful just trying to get these pressed perfectly, nice and clean. Then I double foil them. I just want to make sure that everything is nice and sealed, then no flux can get in there when I'm soldering. Look at the iridescence on her. I just, I love, love, love how she's looking already. I was so excited at this point, bringing the girls, chat, everybody to just come and see how this was looking. Um, I was so excited. So I wanted to figure out how do I make the walls and I wanted the walls to be copper. So the walls we did in this gorgeous copper aluminum and Chad cut it all out on the saw and he actually kind of form fitted it to the pattern that I had. So this is how we got these beautiful walls. It's not real copper, so we will have to foil them and solder them into the piece, but I love them and they were beautiful and lightweight and very like elegant feeling. I just love anything copper. And then it is time to foil her. And I just was trying to be really careful. I used a gel flux that way, and I, I barely put it on. I just wanted to really help keep that flux from going in between the glass because if you do that and the flux gets in there, it just eats away at everything and it just breaks your heart. I was very careful in this step and just really delicate and I constantly cleaned her. I was constantly cleaning her up, making sure there was no flux laying by those oil lines. And the structure, I knew I needed her to have some structure. She's going to have some weight to her and I decided to go with this beautifully braided copper wire. And I did that on the front piece and also on the back piece. That is where she is structurally sound. And of course, I had to give her some texture. Not that she doesn't have enough, but I really wanted to make her just look really, I don't know, just kind of tinkered together by some pretty little fairy who had some time on her hands to decorate this.
I was very careful with setting up all my walls. We made it so that there was also some nice airflow in there. I was constantly wiping, constantly cleaning because once I start shutting this form, I'm not going to be able to get in there to really clean those the flux lines. So I, I made sure to clean that out, make sure all the chemicals are out of there. So I was constantly cleaning throughout this entire process. And using this aluminum sheet actually made it really wonderful for this roof. The roof is quite bendy and curvy and just really beautiful and so it was like the perfect medium to use. If I was to do that at a glass it would have taken a million strips of glass and then she would have been so heavy due to all the solder. So this was really a lot of fun to work with. I really want her to look like rickety, but also very put together. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. I want to make a really cool little wooden shingled roof for her, some scrap wood, and put all those wooden designs on it and then cut out rickety shingles. Yeah, so let's go. I'm excited to see where she goes. I've never made a birdhouse, so we shall see. Okay, so first thing I did was I got all my favorite designs from all my pieces, a lot of my mom's favorite designs, and I etched them onto some wood. So when I cut out the shingles on my machine, I made sure to make them look kind of weathered and worn. They all have like rough edges and little knots cut out of them, and it was just so much fun. They kind of all look like they were from different, completely different places, and just really look like they were just found objects. And it was really a lot of fun. It was, it was, a, it was a lot of work. It took me forever to stain them. I made sure to stain the front and the back. for me to shingle her and this was so much fun I used some silicone caulking and I could only do a couple rows at a time because they would start to slide down from the weight of itself so I would do a few rows and then I would turn her around and I would do the next few rows and I just made sure to kind of overlap where the pieces in between the shingles were just like when you're shingling you know any sort of structure just to make sure that it looks like a nice beautiful roof and any rain or anything like that flows off her and I just made sure to use all different sizes all different widths and I just am so obsessed with how she came out Alright, so then it was time for me to add my moss. I loved doing this. I took the moss and I took the silicone and basically wherever the silicone was, I decided that would be, because in some spots the silicone was like seeping out and that was perfect because it really made up my own mind for me on um, where I would put this moss because normally I'd sit there and stare at this forever just trying to like make the composition of it. I, I just sometimes I get lost in the simple task and it really is that simple. So this kind of made it very organic for me and I just put the moss where the little silicone patches were coming out and this really brought her to life just adding that like greenery and fresh air and then finally lastly I decided she needs some spider webs this girl needs some copper spider webs so I took my copper that I used 
for the actual structure of the piece and I just kind of wove some spider webs. I know my mom is just gonna lose it when she sees her. I had to put an iridescent crystal just kind of dripping from her. Fairies love them some crystals and precious metals, just all of it. This was just so much fun. She took me forever, but I am so crazy with how she came out. So I hope you guys love the video. Be sure to comment, let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe and thank you guys for watching. Till next time.